So what I have here today is my second um, Mezco Joker figure. And of the two, this one is definitely my favorite. This is the Gotham by Gaslight Joker. So that's from a series called Gotham by Gaslight that put um, Batman into Victorian England. And uh, I've never read that one. It's an alternate universe Batman. And I just never got around to it. But... I did like the figure, so I went out and bought it, even though I had no experience with the the uh, the series. So he's got the glasses on. He's got the hat, so I can remove the hat. Uh, the hat is not held on by magnets, but they did kind of carve out. So you can see how they carved out an area to uh, fit nicely on his head. So it does stay on very nicely, even without magnets. His glasses come off pretty easily, and they do hold on very well. They come off easier with two hands, but... So if you look at this one, you know, I should have... Oh, jeez, come on. Um, I should have looked it up. Uh, so that face, that is the classic Joker. So I also have here my my other Joker, which I'm not a huge fan of the uh, face. But um, let me look up real quick. I should have set this up, but so the the Joker was based on the Man Who Laughs. All right. So there's there. This is the uh, the character from the Man Who Laughs, and if you look at it, you'd think that they took the uh, the figure from uh, the Joker. Now the the Man Who Laughs by Victor Hugo, the uh, main character had when he was a child, somebody had uh, or some people had um, disfigured him to cause that freakish grin. So throughout the film, he's got that grin because he cannot uh, not have it. And so you could see, really, he looks very much like the man who laughs from Victor Hugo's uh, book and the film adaptation. So if we look here, that's, oh, I cannot get, won't focus on it. <laughs> All right, focus there. All right, so there you go. It is really a... And so this movie came out, I, I want to say like, yeah, okay, 1928. So it's an older film, black and white. So that's what it's based on. Now this figure, this is the, this is one of the figures that kind of broke my heart because I, I have admitted in the past that I have a bit of a, a, a tiny OCD, not pathological, but I would say a tiny OCD with damage to figures. So the figure originally came with his coat all done up and it's actual buttons. So he was buttoned up and I wanted to see inside. So I undid the buttons, but I had a, I had a bad feeling about it. Something inside said, Oh, I don't know. But I wanted to be able to see uh, his, his his clothing underneath. So I opened it up and sure enough, one of the buttons snapped off. And so I super glued it back on, but you can see there's a little bit of super glue sl slopped around. Now, I don't think anyone would even notice. If I told somebody that this figure was slightly damaged, they'd probably have to look all over and probably would not even notice it, but I know it's there. So maybe someday I need to figure out how to get super glue off of the uh, fabric. I tried as best I could to be as careful as possible. Um, you could see that there's a lot of kind of, looks a little bit dirty. And I think that that was done by Mezco. Um, this is kind of weird. And I only noticed it today, actually, when I was looking at the figure, his pants look a little bit dirty, but only below his cloak. So I'm assuming that they had the, the, the jacket closed and then 
probably sprayed something on to give it kind of an old weathered look. His boots also look a bit weathered. That's how it came. I've never, you know, I don't sit there and play with my figures in the dirt. Uh, I like his tie. He's got the suspenders. Kind of old-timey pants with the uh, pulled up like above his belly button. It's just a really neat figure. I just, I think, even though it's not the uh, the official Batman or, or Joker, um, it's got that classic look to it that I really like. I just, I think that facially, I like him much, much better than the other. And this one is, I don't know if it, you can still buy it. It's sold out on Mezco's website. You could get on the wait list. And I actually have gone on the wait list and gotten figures. Sometimes I go on the wait list and it just never, never happens. But um, I have had some sometimes. But you can look around. I didn't really uh, check uh, other websites, but he may still be available because <coughs> it's a fairly recent figure. In fact, the... Uh, the Batman figure, let's see here. So here's the Batman Gotham by Gaslight. And I have him on wait list. And the reason I did that was because $115 plus shipping was actually less than what Big Bad Toy Store was asking for. So I, I assume this figure is going to be a bit, um, a bit more exotic, a bit more, not exotic, but a bit more stuff to it. A bit. So he's got the cloak. He's got all sorts of stuff. Someday I really need to get get around. I like the Victorian era. Sort of like the steampunk concept. So we have a steampunk Batman. I like that idea. So, And I didn't hear bad things about it. I just never really got around to, to reading it. Don't own it. So, the, I mean, this looks pretty neat. So I kind of get why... This figure is more expensive. But the, uh, yeah, I give this one high marks. The, the articulation is all fine. Uh, this one I have no problem. See, every time I say I have no problem making a stand, he doesn't want to stand. It takes a little bit of effort. Um, overall, I think this one is another one that looks great on the shelf. Better than this one. There's things about this I do like. I like the vest. I like, you know, a lot of things. But I think this one, particularly the face, is much more visually appealing, at least to me. So that's Gotham by Gaslight Joker.